This is the final part. This is part two. That's why I'm going to keep saying this. Well, you better fucking enjoy this stupid listening series why so can, man. Because I don't play around with death. I don't play around with, with this fucked up mess in my life, man. The mess is so bad. Sometimes I'm just tempted, man. So I just run off on my own and just forget about my wife and just live, just be in my own, man. I don't, without why I don't have to deal with VJ's mess. You see what I'm saying? I'm tempted to do that sometimes, obviously. But I know if I do that, Victoria Justice will what? I'll crush my wife and VJ will annoy me every night with her annoying crying, obviously. And I won't get the glowing beauty and I won't stay young forever. I'll age. And Victoria Justice, because she's a crazy woman, she's, she's, she's going to cry every night and annoy me every night. She'll never see her husband forever. She'll see hell forever and I'll crush her if I, if I ran away like that. You see what I'm saying? Hence why VJ is obviously blinded by her, by, by, by what? Her love. She doesn't really see the mess. The fact that VJ still fucks men behind my back, that's how you know VJ takes me for granted. Yeah, I'm going to take I for granted. I'm still, the mess already happened. I'll just keep fucking all these men. And at nighttime, she cries to me and says she loves me because she's crazy. That's why I told you, if you touch my wife and turn her into a porn star and have her be a whore, you're going to turn her into, you, you turn my wife into a crazy bitch, man. Look at the kind of woman you turn my wife into, man. That's why, that's why I shut you guys over good as you guys are fucking actors. You turn my innocent wife into a fucking porn star, into a whore. And now she constantly fucks, man. She loves sex so much. You turn my fucking innocent wife into a whore, man. And you turn an innocent, vir you turned a virgin man, Ivan, into a porn star, too. And you killed him to be with his wife. That's how I know you guys are what? You're fucking actors, man. You're fucking amazing actors, man. You're fucking... You really, really piss me off, man. That's why every time when I see all these... Don't hate me, guys. That's why every time when I see all these talk shows, like Dr. Phil, you know what I'm saying? When I see Dr. Phil... When I see Dr. Phil, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he gives advice to all these people, you know what I'm saying? You molested your, your own children. Okay. Fucking actors, man. W look, at what you did to, look at what you did to VJ, man. You guys turned my wife into a fucking whore, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? You guys are fucking actors, man. Like, you, you just balls my mind how much... You guys are just amazing actors. You see all the audience and Dr. Phil. They all clap. You know what I'm saying? You see, you see their face all sad. Oh my God! How can you do? How can you do this to your kids? How can you molest your own kids? How can you beat your own kids? And what do you do to Ivan and Vijay? You turn both of them into porn stars. You separate them for thirty years. Psychopathic behavior, obviously. You guys are you guys are fucking actors, man. You mean you, you mean you molested your own? You, you mean you molested this woman? You know what I'm saying, uh, what about me, man? You fucking turn a virgin man into a fucking porn star. To see him have sex, and you and you have him what you haven't have sex his own step, and you killed him to be with his wife, and you separate him and his wife for thirty years. You locked all the doors on I, and you won't let him graduate college. You see what I'm saying? And you see the audience and Doctor Phil they clap. You know what I'm saying? You see that they have all these sad places, man. You guys are fucking actors. You're fucking actors, man. You're you're, you're, you're nothing but a mess with VJ man. man. You know, if you saw some good, yeah, man. Look, man, I, I I gave the one look, man. If you do this evil to me. It's going to be so bad that once I am king, when all these talk shows talk, <laughs> when you see, I don't know, once I come from death, you're going to see Dr. Phil, he's talking on his show, he's going to have that shit and think, fuck man, I even shut, shut us up for good, yeah, I shut you up for good, man. You know what I'm saying, Oprah, the Oprah show, you know what I'm saying, all these talk shows, I shut them all up for good because they're all, you, you guys are fucking actors, you're, you're, you're not good people, man, you're fucking wicked people, man, I tested your goodness and you failed the test. You failed the test, man. I tested your goodness, world. Yeah, I tested your goodness, and you failed badly, man. You guys break, break every moral code in the book, man. You're fucking actors. Breaking the faithful code, the moral code of faithfulness in a relationship. Broke it. Made, had I had, caused mess in Ivan, Ivan's life, caused mess in Vijay's life, forced Ivan to be a porn star, forced Ivan to share. You broke the faithful code, obviously. The violent code. You knocked out a what? A four year old kid, just so you can fact his wife, obviously. And you killed him, you murdered him to be with his wife. You broke the violent code, obviously. The academic code. Ivan, an innocent man, he, he goes to Harris College, the teacher sabotages marks. All because what? They don't want to be my wife, obviously, and they, and they, and they, they can't have sex with me. So you're willing to sabotage my marks all because like, you can't have sex with me? That's how I know you guys are you're childish, you're childish, immature people. You act like you're good people, but you're not good people. You're wicked people, man. That's where I got in the Bible, how Jesus... The Pharisees, they look good outside, but inwardly, they're, they're, they're what? They're, they're brood of vipers. Jesus calls them brood of vipers. He calls them out on their hypocrisy. Yeah, you guys, you guys, you guys act like you follow the law, and yet you, inwardly, you guys are brood of vipers. You act like good teachers of the law, and, 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 and yet those very teachers are the ones who murdered Jesus. Yeah, man, you guys are fucking actors, man. You're fucking amazing actors, and you piss me off, man.
Come on. And you guys know deep down in your heart, you're wicked people. Yeah, we know. Yes. There's a reason why once I come out from death, you're going to cry heavy tears. Uh, because all the evil you did to me in region will finally hit you. You see what I'm saying? That's how you guys... Yeah, we know we're wicked people. Like, we proved it. Yeah. You guys are not good people. You're wicked people, man. As if you were good people, world, you wouldn't do this to me in VJ all, all because you're envy. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, even though we're envious, don't... don't. I even put a rule, don't touch his wife. Don't cause mess in Ivan VJ's life. And don't lock the doors in Ivan. Have him be in the public eye. If we do this, Ivan and VJ will save us forever. And we're going to get to experience that amazing glory with God in the public eye. And we're going to be saved. And the only supposed price we're going to pay is we're never going to know what's like, ah, oh, Friday, we just have sex. But we're going to be happy every day and we're going to be saved forever by God. And we're going to see the amazing glory of God in the public eye. Had you let me and Vijay be together, world, and not cause this fucked up mess in my life and had me and Vijay be in the public eye, you, world, would have been saved to this day for 30 years. For 30 years. The only supposed price you would have paid is never know what's hard for me and Vijay to have sex, if you want to call it a price. But trust me, the catch was... Seeing Ivan and Vijay's glory every day in the public eye and being saved makes up for seeing hell every night. You see what I'm saying? In other words, once I saved the actors for Zanus and Peter Jackson and Mel Gibson and all of them for my Zanus movie, when they experience that fame and buzz with me, it will make up for seeing hell every night when, when they dream, obviously. It's finally going to hit the minds, holy shit, being saved by Ivan and Vijay, it will finally hit the actors for Zanus, John Favreau and all of them, right, or the Russo brothers, whoever I hire, and Peter Jackson and all of them, once they experience that fame with being Vijay, it's finally going to hit the minds, holy shit, I even set this whole thing up. Being saved and experience that fame with Iden Vijay and being part of this buzz for his movie makes up, makes me happy, obviously, and it makes up for seeing Hell Every Night When I Dream. Yes! It's finally going to hit the minds. It's finally going to hit Avon Jojay's mind, John Boyega's mind, Peter Jackson's mind, Mel Gibson's mind, John Favreau's influence mind. Holy shit, even though we see Hell Every Night, man, it's an amazing feeling to be saved by God and experience that fame with him and be part of this glory for his movie. And then, oh, yeah, yeah, it makes up for seeing hell every now. I'm happy. Yes, that was a catch, but you guys made the other choice. You're stupid people, man. You're fucking stupid people, man. As if I was not God, I would choose God's glory any over his stupid sex, man. As I don't care about porn. Porn is worthless to me, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, you're turned on. You watch it for five minutes. You jack off. You're done. The video's over, obviously. You chose that worthless over, over the, my fucking glory in the public eye, man. Cause you guys are fucking crazy people, man. You're fucking crazy people, man. You're not gonna mess me, VJ, man. And that's why VJ said, "Look at what a mess we made." You guys are. Well, it's sad because, like, you would think the children would be immature, but it's not just the children who are immature. It's like the adults are also immature too. They're, you guys are crazy people, man. The adults won't. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't want Ivan being with VJ because you guys are crazy immature people. You're actors. You fuck. You're fucking actors, man. I'm gonna keep saying this. Well, I have not seen VJ for 30 years now, man, since birth. You said, right? And that fucking doctor, man, mate, fucking told me, Ivan, you have a mental illness, obviously, right? Yeah, Ivan, you have psychosis. You have a mental illness, you know what I'm saying? It's a mental illness. You're acting like I'm the crazy one. I'm like, look, man, you're 10 times crazier than me, man. I have not seen my wife since, since for 30 years. You guys won't let me see her for 30 years. Yeah, because you're. Yeah, if Ivan doesn't pay this fee, we're never gonna let VJ see him. Yeah, you guys are crazy psychopaths. You're nothing but a mess with VJ, man, man. You're crazy people, man. You're nothing but a mess, man. You really, really piss me off. And you think after doing this evil to me, I'm going to save you when I'm king? No, man. You're going to pay too. You're not going to be saved. You're not going to be saved, man. You're going to you're gonna pay too, man. You guys somehow thought by causing mess in my life and killing me on and, and sabotage my channel with nine subscribers and act like I watched myself, I'm going to save you when I'm king. Uh, no. You chose to keep me behind the scenes. When I'm king, you get what you deserve. Uh, me and Vijay are kept behind the scenes. We're living forever in this world. You're left behind. You're not safe. You're bound by God. And you're going to cry tears, obviously, because it's finally going to hit your minds. Oh my God, Ivan set this whole thing up. Have we let I and Vijay be together, seeing, being saved by God, and experience that glory, obviously, every day, f forever, obviously, makes up for seeing hell every night? Yes, that was a catch. Experience the, being a part of God's fame and glory in the public eye, seeing that amazing glory of Ivan and Vijay on radio interviews, Jimmy Fallon show. Stand-up comedy, Hollywood Reporter interviews, you know what I'm saying? The World Tour on YouTube, magazines, 
movies at the theaters, that being part of that fame, the news, obviously, that makes up for seeing Hell Every Night. Yes, that was the catch. Being saved by Ivan and VJ and experience that amazing glory with Ivan and VJ makes up for seeing Hell Every Night. That was a catch, and you guys made the other choice because you're fucking repping people, man. And you thought by doing this, by killing me and having me cry all the I'm going to save you when I'm king. You guys hope, maybe Ivan, okay, if we buy Ivan's book and make him rich, maybe, maybe he might, what, he might save us. No, man. If you think I'm going to let you do my, yeah, you, yeah, you bought my book and you made me rich, but you, you made me pay to be my wife, you, and you, 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 you don't want to talk on me in the public eye. You're selfish. You want to keep me out because I'm not making any bills for you. You got to choose it. I'll be selfish, too. As if I made, if me and VJ made videos for you, world, when I'm king on my Sabdos channel, you guys will win the game. You'll get your full kick. Yeah, we caused that. You guys will laugh. Oh, my God. We duped Ivan. We caused that fucked up mess in life. He, Ivan has no idea what happened with all these men and VJ, obviously. VJ has no idea what happened with Ivan and all these women, obviously. We killed Ivan. We locked all those. We did all this evil to him. We don't even talk about him in public. We make fun of his Sabdos channel. Act like he watched himself. And Ivan and VJ make bills for us on our channel. We're safe. Yeah, if you think, let me, if you think I'm going to let you dupe my dad, I'm not going to do my dad. I am piecing the fuck out when I'm king. And you're not going to be safe. You're going to be left behind. I'm going to keep saying this. As all these fucking assholes in Hollywood, I'm talking to you guys, you all make fun of me, obviously, behind his Yeah, I fucked Ivan's wife. You know what I'm saying? Ivan has no idea what happened with me and his wife. Yeah, you guys make fun of me, obviously. You think for one second I'm going to save you when I'm king. You got nothing coming. You're also going to pay too. You're going to be left behind. You're, all your movies are all going to be the side tension. Don't hate me. You're going to have that shitty feeling. All you men, all you men in Hollywood... You're all going to have that shitty feeling. All your movies are all the side tension. You're going to feel like shit. You're going to be left behind. You might even cry, obviously, because you're left behind and bad, my God. All you women are going to feel like shit. Your movies are all the side tension in Hollywood. And what? You're going to be left behind and bad, my God. You're not going to be saved. Because you, you did this evil to me, VJ. If you think you're not going to pay, you're going to pay too, man. You're going to pay, man. You see what I'm saying, huh? You're going to pay. Anyways, enough about me exposing you guys. I love exposing you guys because you guys really, really piss me off, man. You know what I'm saying? You, you're fucking actors, man. Like, oh my god, you guys really, really piss me off, man. That's why every time I watch shows, man, and I see guys like Dr. Phil, you know what I'm saying? Oprah and like all these, uh, what's that woman's name? I forget her name. All these, all these talk shows, man. And I, and I see all these people like, uh, how can you do this? How can you do this? How can you, how can you hit your son? You know what I'm saying? How can you what? How can you, you cheated on your wife and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know the, you know the show, The Mari Show? They talk about, yeah, you, you, you are the father, you know what I'm saying? You cheated on your husband and all that stuff. Like, he's got, you guys are all fucking actors. You know what I'm saying? Oh, how can you, how can you, how, my boyfriend cheat on me, my husband cheat on me, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so, so, okay, so whenever it comes, when, when, it, when, when, it's, when, when it's you guys, you have a different standard. How can you cheat on me? How can you cheat on me? How can you cheat on me, you know what I'm saying? And you fucking make Ivan pay pay to be with his wife, and you have him be a porn star. Hence, hence why I'm proving a point why you guys are actors, man. You're, you're you're fucking actors. You're amazing actors. You're fucking actors, obviously. Yeah, man. You're fucking actors. As I would never turn a virgin man into a fucking porn star to be with his wife. It's fucking evil, man. You guys want to turn me into porn star because of your selfishness. Because you guys are actors. Yeah, man. You're fucking actors, man. Amazing fucking actors. Anyways, enough about me exposing you guys. I'm going to talk about Sky Source and my last one was movie project. So, Peter Jackson or Mel Gibson will be competing for the role of the directing job. I'll pay Peter his rich $85 million, which is like a hundred and like, I don't know, five, six, seven million dollars in, in, in New Zealand money. That's good for that's a good paycheck for Peter Jackson. And Mel Gibson, I'll pay him his rich $56 million for the role. Of directing for the executive producing job, directing job, and co writing job. And you're gonna see how hard Peter Jackson and Mel Gibson are gonna compete for that job, man. Because once they read my book, they're gonna want they're, they're gonna want to get their hands on my story so bad. Peter Jackson and Mel Gibson. They're gonna want to get their hands on my story so bad, Peter Jackson and Mel Gibson. You're looking at something crazy, man. Yeah, man. They're gonna want to get their hands on my story so bad. Peter Jackson and Mel Gibson. Because I wrote a masterpiece. Yeah, man. Yeah. Peter Jackson will ask me, Ivan, how much money are you giving me for your movie? I don't know, Peter. I'll give you $980 million. How does that sound? He's like, holy sure, that's a lot of money. Yeah, Peter, I'll give you $980 million for your movie. You know what I'm saying? 
Okay, Ivan, how much money are you putting towards us towards salaries? Oh, Peter, I'll put four ten million dollars of my of my own money towards salaries. He's like, what? <laughs> It's like four ten million dollars. I'm like, yeah, Peter, I'll put four ten million dollars towards salaries. He's like, holy shit, Ivan, that's a lot of money. I'm like, yeah, Peter, it's a lot of money, you know what I'm saying? He's like, Ivan, this is more money than the entire Lord of the Rings project as a whole. Yeah, Lord of the Rings is only made for like two eighty million as a whole. And I'm make I'm putting four ten million towards salaries, guys. That's why my company bowls hot out of the water. That way I can pay the crewmen the rich one hundred four thousand dollars and the supervisors are rich like two hundred thousand dollars. The main cinematographer was a rich two million. My seven team, I have to pay them the rich, the rich salary. Obviously, the rich really salary. I can pay what? All the actors, their consistent millions. If you want to afford to pay guys like John Boyega his rich eight point nine million dollars, Avon Joja his four million bucks. If you want to afford to pay the actors that kind of money, you need, you need to have a big budget. That way, you pay them a lot of money. Obviously, as I told you, A list actors in Hollywood get like three, four million dollars for a movie. Not so much I'm paying B list actors. Avon Joya is getting his nice four million dollar check, which is like two point one million dollars after taxes in his bank. Two point one zero five million is million is bank. Avon Joya is walking away with after taxes. After the nine months of Zayn. It's a lot of money, man. <laughs> He's getting his nice I don't know, one hundred ten thousand dollar check every two weeks. Avon Joya. That's a nice paycheck. He can get his nice eighty thousand dollar Porsche with that money. He can buy his nice Two million dollar condo, rent a nice top high end like four thousand dollar a month, five thousand dollar a month apartment easily. A five thousand dollar a month apartment is a high end apartment. He can he can, he might either rent out a high high end apartment in Vancouver or he might buy himself a nice condo, a nice two million dollar condo for himself of Anjo J in Vancouver. Hence, will work hard, and he also got his two three thousand dollar royalty check for the merch. For, for, for the merch sales, obviously. And he also got his, his what? His world tour money. And his commercial money, too. His commercial money, he'll most likely blow all that easily. It's the the, 60, the 20 grand the actors get, they're going to blow it within that one year. Obviously. But it's a nice pocket money for himself, obviously. But he also gets his, nice, I don't know, 200k worth worth of world tour money. Speaking fees. Speaking fee earnings. Yeah, man. He got a nice paycheck. John Baega's walking away with, I don't know, like a $3 million check in his bank after taxes. But don't forget, you have the rates, guys. John Boyega will walk away with about like a 2.7 to like $3 million check in his bank. Depends where he lives. If he lives in London, he'll walk away with like a 2.7 to like $3 million check in his bank. If he lives in the States, he'll walk away with like $3.4 million in his bank of uh, John Boyega. It's a lot of money, man. Whereas for Star Wars, he only made like a million bucks. He probably only got like four hundred k after taxes or whatever. It's 500 k after taxes and I'm paying him his $8.9 million. It's a lot of money. John Boyega can get his Ferrari, his nice $150,000 Ferrari, his nice $150,000 Benz, his nice $100,000 Porsche. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I told you, John Boyega's already rich. He already has money. You know what I'm saying? Avon Jojo is pretty rich. Obviously, all the actors are already, they already have money, obviously, but, 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 but they're going to be richer, obviously. They're going to make more money, obviously. You know, you're going to see them buying, you're going to see their lavish life once they film Zanus and they got their nice checks, obviously. You're going to see them, buy, you, I don't know, you see... John Boyega trending in London. He bought, he's, he, he bought himself a nice Porsche. A nice $100,000 Porsche. Yeah, I pay him a lot of money, obviously. He's wearing, he's looking fly with his nice, he bought himself some nice clothes. Some nice shoes, looking fly. Yeah, because I paid him a lot of money. You see Avon Joja pulling up in his, I don't know, $80,000 Porsche. He bought himself a nice fucking Porsche. Yeah. Because I paid him a lot of money, obviously. Money talks. If you pay the actors a lot of money, they're going to work harder for you. Yeah, man, I'm like, yeah, Peter, I'll put four ten million towards salaries to pay the actors a lot of money, obviously. And the crewman of the rich salaries like, holy shit, that's a lot of money. Yeah, I mean, how much money are you putting towards special effects? I don't know, Peter. How does four hundred and fifty million dollars sound? How does four hundred plus million dollars sound, Peter? He's like, Holy shit, I that's a lot of money. That's like this is better than Avatar, yeah. You're looking at something better than Avatar, guys. Yeah, man. You're looking at something better than Avatar. You're looking at something better for Avatar. Holy shit, that's a lot of money. Yeah, it's a lot of money. You're looking at something better than Avatar, guys. For uh, for for what? For for Zanus, man. Do you remember how you got the World of Pandora? Think something like that. It's like the world looks more natural. And it's like the world's like Lord of the Rings. Think of it like an animal kingdom, the south. Eretat's the king of the south. He feasts the king by the mountains. Tachyus is the prince of the north. The north is holiest. It's his region, obviously. 
Tachyus' region is the north, obviously. He's a prince of the north. And Eretet's a king of the south. And Ephesus is the king that will battle the mountains in the south. Obviously. So I'm going to keep saying this. Eretet and Ephesus are both kings, but Eretet has like a slightly higher power, obviously. You'll see that when you read the book. Eretet has a slightly higher power because he's a, he's a king of the south, obviously. But he's not the king of the mountain regions. He's a king of the south, but the moment you journey through the mountain regions, that's, that's no longer Eretet's territory. You're now in Ephesus' territory, and he's a king bat of the mountains. And that's why I wrote a masterpiece. Look at an amazing story, man. He's a king bat of the mountains, Ephesus. So Ephesus and Eretet are both kings, but Eretet has a slightly higher power, obviously. I even knew the wolves and bats hate each other. The wolves and bats are not the best of friends, obviously, but they what? They have a common enemy. Their common enemy is the humans. They don't like the humans. The wolves and bats do not like the humans. You see what I'm saying? They do not like the humans, obviously. And they hate Tactius the most. Tactius, because Tactius is the prince of, of, of Zanus. He's, he's the heir. He's the heir, he's the heir, he's the heir of, the, of the northern throne, obviously. I'm going to keep saying this. I'm not going to spoil the story for you. Even though Eretat and Ephesus are kings, they still envy Tactius because Tactius is the is, is, is prince of the north. I have one, I mean, I don't want to spoil the story. Assume I'm going to read the book. Eretat, Fuful, and Ephesus, even though they're kings, they still envy Tactius because Tactius is the, is, the, is the prince of the north, and the north is holy. Whereas the south is all cursed and all that stuff. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't want to spoil the story for you. That's why we're looking at the master that I wrote. Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna get a drink of water. Yeah, I'll end this video here, guys, in a good 11 minutes here. I'll end the video here, guys. Yeah, Peter Jackson's going to be shocked. Like, holy shit, Ivan. You know what I'm saying? You're putting four ten million towards size. I'm like, yes, yeah, I'm saying. I am putting four hundred million towards CGI special effects, obviously. That's why I'm looking at a world better than Pandora and even what you got for Lord of the Rings Middle Earth. There's something unheard of. Yeah, man. A prehistoric, I don't know, prehistoric advanced fantasy world. Yeah, man. Something unheard of. And you also have putting 30 million towards building the sets. Looking at unheard of set building for my movie, obviously. 37 million towards the costumes, armor, and weapons, and the machine for the mask. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rent the best machine for printing all the 3D masks. Create the best stuff, the best equipment, the best machines for printing all the 3D masks for all the animal characters. The demon, the demon masks for all the animal characters. Obviously, there's a good chance William Defoe or perhaps Benjamin Kamenjack might be chosen for Eretat. Obviously, William Defoe is good for Eretat. He has that voice, obviously. The Green Goblin voice, obviously. And Benjamin Kamenjack voice small. They're good for Eretat. You can have those two guys compete for the job. I'll pay them a good $6 million for the role of those guys if they're chosen. Pay them a nice $6 million. That's a good paycheck for, for, for a voice actor. That's good enough. If Batman and Conor Jack are willing to full get greedy and they want like 10 million, I'm like, guys, you're a fucking voice, you're wearing the, you're, you're a fucking voice actor, I'm not going to pay you like 10 million bucks, you're not worth it for the movie, man. Because you're a voice actor, you're not worth as much. I'll pay you your millions, but I'm not going to pay you like 10 million bucks. No, you're affecting my budget, 6 million bucks is good enough. Oh, well, sorry, it's a deal, that's a good deal. Yeah, in Hollywood, you, you don't even make this on average, you probably make it 3, 4 million on average in Hollywood. And I'm paying you 6 million bucks, it's a good deal. You know what I'm saying? Ivan, right, how much money do you want to put towards extras? I don't know, Peter. How does $35 million sound towards extras? He's like, holy shit, Ivan. Mean, you have enough You have enough to hire, like, thousands of extras for the war and the gatherings. Yes. I have enough to hire thousands of extras for the gatherings and the wars. And the war. Easy affordable. 
Yeah, Ivan, what cameras are you thinking of renting? I'm thinking of, I don't know, Peter, how does the IMAX camera sound? Yeah, holy shit, Ivan, IMAX cameras are the best cameras in Hollywood. Yeah, you get that nice wide shot. I ran a good, like, ten film IMAX cameras for the movie. And because I gave Peter or Mel Gibson an unlimited budget, they're going to be happy, obviously. Because they have an unlimited budget. It's a good feeling having an unlimited budget, man. You can do, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't have to worry about running out of money for the actors. I don't have to worry about running out of money for the cameras. You can get the best IMAX cameras in the business. Best film IMAX cameras in the business. Update the cameras. Get, you get that nice, beautiful cinematography. I don't have to worry about bad cinematography. I'm going to get beautiful shots for the movie. Unheard of. Uh, the best, cool for the cameras. You're gonna get nice motion. You're gonna you're gonna get nice camera motion with the footage, obviously. Yeah, the best drones. You're gonna get nice high shot footages. Four hundred million towards pressures. Looking at a revolution of technology for the world building, better than Avatar and and Lord of the Rings. The action seems is better than Lord of the Rings. If you thought the Helm's Deep battle was badass, guys, think something like two or three times better than that for Lord for Zanus. You're looking at action seems even. Better. Remember how Aragorn looked badass in the Helm's Deep battle. Gimli and Nightlots of Bass will think something better than that <laughs> for Zanus. Yeah, because I poured 400 million towards special effects. Towards the action sequences, the world building, and the horror of the wolves. If you thought the ring race and the witch king of Agma, obviously, and the boss orc in Lord of the Rings and the Felsh the Ring and the orc high in two towers were scary, you know what I'm saying? Remember when the orcs approached the wall in two, to in two towers in Helm's Deep? Think of beings three times scary that you're looking at walking devils. Walking Devils on the screen. Yeah, man. Imagine me, Tactius, the Prince of the North, fighting Aerith, the King of the South, his son for fool. You have Morale the General. You have Bo. You know what I'm saying? You have the you have the demon twin servants. Um, Darius of Blasphemy, you have his demon army. Obviously, demons, walking devils. Three times scarier than what you got for the orcs in, 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 in Two Towers. In my opinion, the orcs in Two Towers were the, were the freakiest, obviously. The orcs in two towers were the scariest. When, when the, the orc high and, 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 and what? In two towers, they were fucking freaky. Well, think of being three times scarier than that. The orcs in two towers and the ring race and Fellowship of the Ring were, 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 were freaky, man. Because I find the ring race in the other movies were not as scary. Was the ring race and, and, and what? And Fellowship of the Ring were freaky when, 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 when you got that song. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that song? Yeah. The, 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 remember that? That was freaky. Well, think of beings three times scarier than that, man. You're looking at walking devils for Zanus. You see what I'm saying? That's why Peter Jackson and Gibson, you're going to see them in the documentary, how happy they look. You're going to see how much more... I don't know, if I hire Peter Jackson, you're going to see how much more happy he is compared to Lord of the Rings in the documentary. Holy shit, Peter Jackson looks like he looks so much more happy in Ireland than he is in Lord of the Rings. Because Lord of the Rings... Don't hate me, Hollywood. In Lord of the Rings, you know what I'm saying? Peter Jackson had a shitty budget. A $90 million budget, obviously. Which is pretty shitty for a Lord of the Rings movie, obviously. And he pulled it off. They did not spoil him the way I spoiled him. Having him stay on Lush Hotel, Lumen Driver every day, Buffet every day, you know what I'm saying? I, they, didn't, they didn't spoil him the way I spoiled him, obviously. At the same time, Peter Jackson, don't hate me, Hollywood, was a dirty slave in Hollywood. When he, when he did Lord of the Rings, he had to do it, obviously. He worked his ass off. I saw a documentary. You can tell Peter Jackson and that Fran woman. Fran is his partner, I think, right? His, 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 his what? You know what I'm saying? Fran is his, his what? His writing partner. You know what I'm saying? And the Philip group, well, one, whatever name is. They co-wrote uh, Lord of the Rings, obviously. You can tell Peter Jackson. I saw him going over the script. You can tell he worked his ass off. You see what I'm saying? And boy, if you thought he worked hard for Lord of the Rings, he's going to work double harder for, for my movie. I told you, even though Peter Jackson's going to work his ass off, you, you're gonna, he might, you might see him struggling a little bit. More than the way the more the compared to Lord of the Rings because he's a lot he's a lot older now you see what I'm saying here? he might be a bit fatigued from the work because Peter Jackson will be I don't know sixty five when I hire Peter Jackson's I believe sixty years old he's sixty sixty I think yeah Peter Jackson's sixty years old man he's like sixty years old so by the time I hire him he'll be like what like sixty four he'll be he's older obviously you see what I'm saying here? so you might see him struggling a little a little bit a little bit more. With the work. He might be a bit more fatigued, obviously. But he's still good. 64, you're still pretty pretty good. Obviously. He's, he'll be fine, obviously. But you'll see how much more happy he is in my in the documentary for Zanus than he is in Lord of the Rings. Holy shit, when you compare Peter Jackson, Lord of the Rings, and Ivan Zanus movie, he looks so much more happy in Ivan's movie. Yeah, because I gave him his freedom, obviously. I'm spoiling the shit out of him, and I gave him an unlimited budget. Whereas, whereas Warner Bros. gave Peter Jackson a fuck you budget, man. 
A 90 million dollar budget is pretty shitty for a Lord of the Rings movie. Because Hollywood's cheap, obviously. And Hollywood can't afford to, to, to make a movie for 90 million dollars. Because they don't have the keys like me, obviously. They'll lose money, obviously. You know what I'm saying? They only gave Peter 90 million dollars for every movie. And Peter Jackson ma managed to pull it off. Obviously. For my movie, I'm giving him 980 towards the movie. For the salaries and, and, and the movie budget and the doc budget. And Peter Jackson will be happy, obviously, because I gave him an unlimited budget. See what I'm saying, huh? He'll be shocked, like, holy shit, I mean, you're putting this much money towards your movie? I'm like, yeah, Peter, I'm putting this this much money towards my movie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I might talk for another 30 minutes, guys. I might make a one and a half hour video here, guys. And I'll upload this video. I'll watch it right after I make this video. That way, when I wake up, I can just make my video right away. The way I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, what, take up time. Because chances are I'll wake up around 4 or 5 again today. Obviously, I don't want to watch my video when I wake up and it's like 7 o'clock and, 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 and I have to rush my video. No. Chances are I'll make another one video again today. Well, technically speaking, I made two because I'm, I'm making one early this morning, obviously, right? Now, I might make maybe another video early in the morning tomorrow, like, like, like I'm doing right now. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. You're going to see how much more happy Peter Jackson is working in my movie than he did in the New Wesleyan. Because I told you, in Hollywood, even though he, he, what? In Hollywood, he was a dirty slave. In Hollywood, you don't make your free millions all, all, in Hollywood. You, I'm going to keep saying this. You have to do it. The fact that I have to do it, the fact that I have to have sex with my stepmother and have sex with, I don't know, 4,000 women in Hollywood to make my billions, what makes you think these people know? They have to do it too. You're not, you're not free in Hollywood. You're a dirty slave, obviously. But even I'm making sense. Even though Peter Jackson was a dirty slave, he 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 was obviously still pretty happy. You know what I'm saying? He he's he's what? He's he's a, he's a, he's a fame. He be, Lord of the Rings launched his career. He was a famous directing star. Obviously, he was a part of that buzz for Lord of the Rings. You know what I'm saying of the movie. Obviously, he won Oscar. You know what I'm saying? He was pretty happy. Obviously, but he will not be. You're gonna see how much more happy he is in my movie compared to Lord of the Rings. Because because I gave Peter Jackson the what an unlimited budget. You're going to see how much more happy Mel Gibson is in my movie compared to Passion of Christ. If you see the behind scenes of Passion of Christ, you're going to see how much more happy Mel Gibson is in my movie. Because for Passion of Christ, Mel Gibson was a dirty slave too. See what I'm saying? As in Hollywood, you have to do it to make your money. That's how it works. And I gave Mel Gibson an unlimited budget. Hence, you're going to see how happy he is in my movie compared to Passion of the Christ. Whoever I hire, right? You're going to see the Lord of the Rings crewmen, how much hardworking they are and how much more happier they are in my movie compared to Lord of the Rings. Because, because what? Hollywood is cheap. They serve them shittier food like meat, potatoes, and pasta. You know what I'm saying? And what? They paid the crewmen $30,000. They're 30 k obviously. They got their shittier money, obviously. Hence what? They didn't spoil them the way I spoiled them. Hence why they didn't give them once a month parties like me. I'm going to give the crewmen for Lord of the Rings once a month parties. Show my camera here. 